Paris is slowly getting closer to reopening its famous Notre Dame Cathedral. The latest effort involved a massive effort to remove scaffolding surrounding the spire. Aliana Gomez is here to show us the progress. Good morning. Matt and Tam, good morning to you. It's been nearly five years since the world watched as Paris's Notre Dame burned, flames ripping through the cathedral, a devastating scene for so many people. And the moment the spire and its famous rooster collapsed, take a look. Parts of the cathedral date back to the 12th century. It was a true marvel for Parisians who were devastated to see its downfall in April of 2019. But today marks a new beginning. Workers are removing the scaffolding behind the cathedral, revealing a new spire, marking a turning point in the ongoing reconstruction process. Now I can open the window every morning. I see Notre Dame. I see the spire. It's for me the beautiful and it's much better like before. This is the top of the spire right And one month after the fire, ABC's David Muir took us inside, getting an up-close view of the destruction. You can see just charred out remains of there. The scaffolding consists of more than 600 tons of metal, 330 feet high, made up of 70,000 metal parts, all to protect the cathedral. And they're looking at it there, that new spire adorned with a new golden rooster, reimagined, as they say, as the phoenix mm. rising from the ashes. The people there who live outside that man you heard speaking lives right outside the cathedral and says he's just been crying happy tears seeing the progress that's been made. They see a new light, new hope. And yeah. for many travelers who visit, it's just not the same going to Paris if you can't really go to Notre Dame and see it the way it's supposed to be yeah. go inside and see that spire. Just as majestic as it ever was. Yeah. Thanks, Elliot. Thank you.